Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox One. This particular tutorial is all about changing grid sizes using rotors, but I'm also going to touch on a couple of aspects of creative mode and creative mode duels building. Now we are in creative mode on my mess about save, on my creative mode save, and the first thing we're going to do is change grid size from a large grid base to a small grid structure and it's easy to do compared to a small grid to large. First of all you need a rotor. This rotor has a large head this rotor part needs to go so we get rid of that then you're going to need a way to interact with this because at the moment there's no way to interact with it you could do it through a battery or one of the quickest ways is to build yourself a tiny control panel Pop it on the rotor, press X, then in your search bar type rotor and you'll see I have three rotors. Now it's not an advanced rotor and it's not part of the subgrid. What we want is this rotor and if you add rotor head it will reattach the original rotor's head. What you want to do is add small head like that and then you will see a tiny head and onto this tiny head we can build blocks like this now, people have asked me, after they watch me doing some of these videos, how do we stretch the blocks? In other words, how do we build with line mode? Well, when you've got a block active like I have, press in the right stick and then move across till you're on the build menu using the triggers and then choose multi-block building and you can see you've got line you've got plane you've got single block so you want it on line block then confirm it and then any time that you build you can build with lines of blocks and the same goes with planar building Build walls, floors, like that. If you want to go back to it, click in the right stick change again you can go back to single block or you can leave it on line to make it nice and easy now that's out of the way we're going to look at getting a large grid ore detector onto my little miner here to that we need to put a rotor on a small rotor and again we grind off the tiny rotor head you can't just go into a small rotor and add a large rotor head so you have to trick the game in a way or at least you have to exploit a <coughs> particular method 
or use a method to do it. And you have to build a gantry is the best way. <coughs> you can spend a while attempting to try and drop a large rotor head directly onto a small rotor and get it to do it that way. But if you can park up your ship or, or if you're building a base it's even easier. Go to your blocks and come out above this rotor. When you're above the rotor, select your rotor part. Make sure that the shaft part of it is sticking downwards and the top part is attached, like so. And then grind away the support block at the top of the rotor part. It will drop and it will land fairly close to that small rotor. Go into your control panel or cockpit. Type rotor in the search bar or the first three letters and look down until you find the rotor you want and you'll see you can attach we don't want to add rotor head because that will attach the small rotor head back we want attach to attach the rotor head that is floating by our rotor click attach come out of that and you'll see that our rotor head is now actually attached to our tiny rotor and this means that we can do things like adding well let's forget the ore detector shall we let's be no actually let's first of all remove that 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 uh -huh. And yes, you can indeed have a giant Gatling gun on top of a tiny ship. That's how to change grid sizes using rotors from small to large and large to small. And this can be very useful uh, especially if you're building some kind of lift and you want a smaller floor in the lift you can use a large rotor with a small head to create a nice floor and then cap it round with some half armor blocks and it will just be enough to give you a tiny gap between your lift shaft and the lift floor for it to work properly. Hopefully that's been of some use. Once again, stay safe, have fun, enjoy the game. There's much more to come from Space Engineers from Keen, and there's definitely much more to come from me, because I will be doing something at some point which I've been experimenting with and had a lot of fun doing. And this is creating an automated cargo drone that will land at the mine drill take on board all that precious ice wait for about a minute till it's fully loaded scoot off all the way all the way over in this direction there we go I lost my little base for the moment such a vast landscape easy to do and then come down land on this and pop all of that ice with a conveyor sorter 
into this box here. So I will be showing you how to use the remote control block to get my little cargo drone to do what it's told. It does take a little bit of trial and error. Uh, the rules for doing this in gravity are different to doing it in space. But that's for another one. Have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.